all right everyone so basically today we'll be talking about the types of lines we have and their uses and as time goes on we will start to understand more of it as we go on in the course of our classes so the first line we have today is the t continuous line which is also known as the object line and it's mainly used for visible outline and hedges the next one is the thin continuous line it is most time called the construction line and it is used basically for dimension lines used for arching lines whereby when you cut through a plane in most cases we make use of uh, our thin continuous lines to show arching lines so and it is used for projection outlines so when you want to show the projection of uh, of an outline so we make use of the thin continuous line with time just as i've said with time as we go on with the course of our classes we will discuss more on the use of our lines all right so the next types of line we have is the thin short dashes its main function is to show it in details so most times when we want to show it in details we make use of our thin short dashes next on the list is the thick chain line the thick chain line is used to indicate surfaces that is of special importance whenever you want to lay emphasis of, on an object we make use of our thick chain line it's actually a special line and used for special purposes all right so the next one is the thin chain line and thin chain line is mainly to show our center lines it's mainly used to show our center lines and extreme positions of movable points okay so and the last on our list is the zigzag line the zigzag line is mainly used to cut through or to break in between a long line or an object here we have a picture representation of the types of line we have so you can do well to check it out and in our next class i'm going to show you how to go about your lettering i remain emmy to do it at emmy consult thanks